Hi guys, welcome back to another Daily Tarot Card. These are your Daily Tarot Cards for Wednesday, April the 19th, 2023. Today we're pulling from the Dragon Tarot Cards. So we're starting off with the Seven of Wands and I feel like taking the higher ground in this situation, I feel like defense mode. I feel like someone's low vibrational here out of their insecurities, they're scared, they find themselves in a new situation. Probably somewhere where they never thought they would find themselves. They never you know, learn to live in this energy. And it's just like, they're sitting there and they're putting this on other people. And it's like, you know, life is what you make it. You know what I mean? It, I understand we feel a certain way, but it's just like, at the same time, it's like, you know, there's a whole reason why we're being pushed in this direction, you know, for our, our, for our better good. Even though we don't understand it sometimes, it's like, let the, the cards fall. Let the, let go with the flow of things. Stop fighting it. You know, we have the page of cups here. And I feel like because the look of surprise on the page's face, I feel like this could be a pet. I'm getting pet energy. I'm also getting, for some of you, this could be love or this could be someone from the past because they're showing Six of Cups with this card. And I feel like it's like either this is like someone from the past, like a cousin or, you know, uh, maybe a, uh, someone from like school or uh, an encounter that you had. They come back into your life. Maybe they find you on social media, but I feel like this is an energy where it's like, you guys know each other. It's just like you click and it's just like, kind of like, uh, we were talking, was we were talking about the today or it's just like, they're like your soul sister, your soul brother. You know what I mean? Like I was talking about, like, I'm very lucky that I've met people like that or I was on, um, Instagram earlier. I was just like, you know, sometimes we meet these friends where it's just like, or where I could, if you could clone yourself, you know what I mean? Like, it's like everything would be in a great spot, but Sometimes in life we meet these great, wonderful people that are like that, where they become like your soul sister or soul brother. We go to the seven of pentacles and I'm in this energy right now, like reflecting on like how hard and tedious to get to this point and start seeing the other side of things, you know, and I'm so gr grateful that like, you know, sometimes when we watch shows, it's like, that's how spirits speak to us, where it's just like something resonates with Sherry Shepard. It's like, you know. Um, if you love something, you know, the money will follow, like, you know what I mean? And it's just, it's just like, you, even like a positive shift, positive affirmation that you're, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? It's just, it, you know, it's, it's wonderful to see that. You know what I mean? It's, 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 what a blessing that, you know, your, your hard work is paying off. If you're someone like myself, where it's like, you know, you have to, with de determination and dedication, it's not, it doesn't come easy. You know what I mean? Definitely before COVID happened, I was um, doing four to five readings a day. You know what I mean? But unfortunately, like, you know, as more and more restrictions came down, you know, we weren't able to do have in-house, in-person readings or anything like that. So it's just like, you know, starting from scratch again, unfortunately. But, you know, what can you do? You just keep moving forward. We have the Nine of Cups. And they kept showing um, from the Game of Thrones tarot deck. They have Sam sitting here in front of a table and it's the nine of cups and it's like all are welcome at your table. So I feel like with the ace of cups, I feel like with the ace of pentacles, the ace of wands, we've been getting a lot lately. It's like, you're about to have this rebirth in your life. And it's just like, whatever positivity comes in here, it's not only just for yourself, but they know because you are the queen of pentacles, even if you're a he, she, they, it's like, you're the type of person that when wealth or unexpected abundance with no harm to none comes into your life, your joy and your love language is buying something, you know, like with myself, you know, the kids wanted something where rent was due. Um, what do you call it? House insurance and the alarm were all due. And I'm just like, those are big bills. And I'm like, you know, not right now, like, you know, maybe in two weeks I can do it for you, you know? And it's just like, you know, with me, if I get an influx of money, it's like, I remember those things. I'll order it secretly and then surprise them with it. Right. And it's just like, that's my love language. It's like, I, you know, I remember those things. You want, you, you mentioned something, you know what I mean? And when I'm able to, you know, purchase it for you, I will, if you haven't purchased it for yourself already, you know what I mean? So I feel like you're being rewarded for who you are. I feel like you're about to have blessing after blessing after blessing come in here. It's all your answered prayers. You know, I definitely feel tired and exhausted because it's just like I've been through this cycle for six weeks and it's like it's coming to an end on Friday. They're showing me like, you know, she's going to drag it out, you know, for a seventh week because that's just who she is, you know. 
They're like a big baby, can't do anything on their own. But, you know, it is what it is. You know, such is life, you know. But I feel like things are going to speed up quickly. I feel where things have been tedious and feel like they're being dragged out. I feel like things are going to pick up. So with the Seven of Wands, success is likely, even though the odds appear to be stacked against you. Victory will, will be all the sweeter for the effort it takes uh, it takes you. And sweetest still, if you, you just quietly get get on with doing whatever is necessary without complaining. Oh, I love complaining. <laughs> Other, others may be trying to undermine you. Yeah, of course. Anytime you achieve something, it's like, don't tell the people that don't give a crap. Like, you know what I mean? Like I took the longest time to sell a certain person about, um, to, uh, becoming a healer professionally. You know what I mean? Like they still don't, you know, realize the magnitude of all that, but that's fine because you know what I mean? It's like, for me, it's like the biggest compliments come from those that I love. The ones that I read for all the time, the ones that, you know, um, reach out that I've never met. And they're like, can I quit do a quick, you know, question card spread? And I do it for them. They're like, oh my gosh, I was beyond what I asked. And uh, they don't know me. You know what I mean? And it's just like, I do, I offer my service and they're just like, whoa, like, you know, you, you did what I asked and then some, you know what I mean? So it's like, you know, this is where I love people that sit there and do this for the right reasons. You're there to heal. You're there to offer your abilities, you know, obviously don't sit there and hurt yourself and, spread yourself thin but it's just like you know what I mean when you find that happy balance and you're able to help others definitely do so but just taking things through uh, to, uh talking things through with them openly and the threat will go away see some people just like creating problems you know what I mean it's just like there's no reason to act the way that you're acting or if you would actually just say how you're feeling then instead of coming out in this like you know um confrontational way you know what I mean? It's just like things will turn out for the better. Page of Cups is an ideal student, patient, recipient. Eager to learn. Often the card represents the need for success and the attitude if you are to progress. There are times of assertion and times for humility. And this is one of them. If it represents another person, it means someone near nearby is willing to learn from you. Although it may uh, be too shy to ask. So, you know, maybe this is where someone wants to, um, wants you to be their mentor. I've done this a couple of times. It's a lot of work, you know, to be dedicated five days a week or whatever you decide to do, whatever, you know, your path that you choose, you know, and to sit there and do readings on top of that and to work a job and to take care of the house. It's a lot. It's a, it, it you know, you have to find that balance as the more you do it, it does get better. You know what I mean? But especially when you're going through something like with, or on top of all that, I'm helping someone else. You know what I mean? It's, I feel like that's where that rest and rejuvenation card's coming in. It's just like you're, everything's about to get quiet and comfortable. And you know what I mean? Where it's like the energy that I prayed for after Shane passed away. And I was like, you know, I would go on Facebook uh, for, I can't remember what I would go on there for, but, um, I would see like I'm bored and I'm like, I would give anything to be bored right now. Like, oh my gosh. Like, you know what I mean? Like that you're so content in life that you could be bored. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's just like, that's like, that's when life is sweet. Like when you're able to sit outside and just listen to the wind rustle through the leaves and watch the birds of the air and you know, the dragonflies and everything like that. Watch the robins hop across the, the lawn, you know, it's just like, what a sweet time in life that is that you can just, Enjoy the small pleasures in life, you know? What a blessing. So the seven foretells of truly rewarding time. The possibilities before you are quite awesome. But do think in the long term. Decide where you are and what you would like to be remembered for by your family and friends. The choices you face are really that important. Destiny at work. So I love the fact that like truly rewarding time. And I feel like it's like, you know, doing things diligently, you know, maybe you do come into a large sum of money and it's just like, you know, instead of blowing it on, um, a bull crud, it's like, sit there and put it in, uh, you know, maybe you do put like, you know, maybe you sit there and you're like, okay, maybe it is time. I really think about, you know, my burial situation, you know, my passing situation. So maybe you want to get buried. So get all those arrangements taken care of. 
uh, cremation, get all those arrangements taken care of. Well, I hope and pray this is not true, but maybe some of you are actually taking care of that right now. They're showing flipping through a book at the funeral home. I hope and pray to God that's not what the situation is, but that's what they're showing, flipping through a funeral book. So, Nine of Cups, victory, success, come your way as several long-term dreams come true. Share your good luck with others and it will be multiplied. This is a good time for looking forward and making fresh plans for the future. Because you're confident, your confidence will be infectious. Several new and simultaneously friends are likely to enter your life. This is where we've been talking about this. I'm not the only healer saying this because I've seen it on TikTok where it's blessing after blessing after blessing coming in. And don't overlook the small things. You know what I mean? Like, because it's just like, it could have went the other way. You know, synchronicities. You know, people call it luck, fate. But this is the universe at work. They see your manifestations. They see what you're pushing for. They see what you're working towards. They see the determination and dedication in a situation. And it's like, you know, yeah, sometimes it is tedious. You know what I mean? I'm not going to lie. Like, you know, you're tired. You know, even with your regular job, it's like you're tired. You don't want to go in. You'd rather take the day off and just um, sit there and, um, and relax and catch up on your sleep, you know. But alas, here we are. We have to sit there and do what's, you know, called of us, you know. Sleeping don't pay the bills, you know. So hopefully you have sick, paid sick days. Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is regal, generous, and diplomatic. Ru ruling her high suit in close partnerships with her king in much the same manner. Although perhaps a touch more warmth and understanding of human uh, for uh, frailty. So I feel like, you know, with the Queen of Pentacles, when they show up, you know, whomever it's for, it's like this is where you're, you're um, coming into, you know, some financial abundance, maybe unexpectedly is a word they keep using, um, out of the blue. And it's just like um, being grateful for that. But this is where I feel like where the, the cards are talking about, like use it smartly. Put it on debt. Put it here. Put it there. Like, you know what I mean? Put it away for, for savings. You know, don't be stupid. And, 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 and Not so much stupid, but it's like, yeah, we can buy gifts for our family. And, you know, that's our love language. But we also got to be mindful. Like, you know what I mean? Because things come out of the blue. As much as positive things happen out of the blue, sort of, unfortunately, negative things do. So to sit there and put that away in a savings account, tax-free savings account. Just let it sit there. And if you need it, it's there, you know. She has a good grasp of finances as well as being generous and a uh, welcoming hostess. The card represents either someone you should turn to or the qualities you need to cultivate. And I feel like it's just like, yeah, even though we do rule with love, it's just like, you know, we got to be smart too. Being happily broke, as they say, you know what I mean? Where it's just like all the bills are paid, but you know, you still broke. But it's just like, you know what I mean? At least you don't have to worry about someone calling the house and it's your light bill or something like that. You know what I mean? It's, it's just like, you know. Yes, life is meant to be enjoyed, but you'll be able to, you know what I mean? Like cuddling up and watching movies together, playing board games together. Simple pleasures where you can just sit there and, uh, you know, enjoy life, you know, to the fullest, you know, simple things that make, you know, the best thing for me is when my kids laugh their butts off when they're like watching a show or whatever it is. And they just roaring laughing, you know, that just, that makes my heart sing because that's the best Sound of the world is laughing, laughing children, having fun. You know, it's just, it's amazing to see their energy on high like that, you know? So I feel like you're, something's going to enter into your life. That's going to bring a lot of joy in, you know? I feel like, you know, also like taking it easy on yourself because retrograde is happening. I feel like that's where that rest is coming into. It's like before things kind of, you know, pick up here before like retrogrades getting started so if you're able to meditate and get your energy lined up so i hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for wednesday april the 19th 2023 may the universe bless you good we'll see you for the next daily tarot card